this was the first year that Brockport has participated in a consortium of universities that are cooperating to study abroad in Antarctica. Many p people don't really think I, uh, about Antarctica as a place for, certainly for study abroad, but they don't think about Antarctica as a place that is worthy of academic study because it's really off of our radar. It's off of our map. It's, it's really off of uh, the portion of the globe that we've grown up looking at. But Antarctica is of profound importance for people around the world. It's actually been a, a lifelong dream of mine to go to Antarctica. One of two um, that I was very thankful to uh, have the ability to fulfill, especially through college. That was an unexpected avenue to be able to fulfill that dream. I wanted to go to Antarctica because I felt like it was a trip that I would never have another opportunity to take. Um, studying abroad is generally expensive and time consuming and having to work, it just didn't work any other way. And so the timing worked out really well and I thought, who, who goes to Antarctica? No one goes to Antarctica. So it was a really great opportunity. There are some places that the first time basically anybody beholds them, it you can't help but have your breath taken away. Something that is so vast, so sublime, so magnificent that you lose your, your, yourself for a moment as you behold something and try to comprehend it. It was different. I guess it's hard to know what to expect uh, on a trip like that. You see pictures and you, you know what the weather's like, you know what you're going to be seeing, but you can't really visualize what the experience is until you actually experience it. For me, the defining moment and uh, my awe-inspiring first impression, despite how cliche that may sound, was while we were still on the ship. Uh, we had been on the Drake Passage for two and a half days, and about two o'clock in the morning, the sun was setting. Um, we were technically in Antarctica, below 60 degrees um, south. So uh, beyond the setting sun, um, you, it was just gray clouds, um, but as the sun set lower beyond the horizon, you could tell that there was ro a rolling cloud bank that hid Antarctica. And as the sun set further, you could tell that white peaks were towering out of this thing. And I have pictures of, and fond memories, basically, of this pinkish sky with these jagged peaks towering out of it, and that was my first impression of Antarctica. My first impressions were, I actually just didn't really believe I was there. It was a very surreal experience for me. You're on the ship, it was probably six in the morning when we first reached land, and there's giant mountains and icebergs, and it's just unbelievable. And while we were there, the students had uh, individual and group research projects. But those individual group research projects really gave some purpose to the day's activities, which otherwise were very fun uh, uh, recreational experiences. 75 to 80 percent of all the knowledge that we would attain there was given to us beforehand, which was a blessing in and of itself, given that um, we didn't get there and have to open a book to know what was going on or to understand and comprehend and appreciate what was all around us. We already had a foothold in the knowledge that would really help in making the experience as great as it was. I never thought that wildlife would be as curious as people were. Just having penguins especially walk right up to you and stand at your feet and stare up at you with as much curiosity as you were staring back at them with, that was definitely an interesting experience to say the least. Uh, riding in a zodiac and seeing whales humpback orcas popping up no more than 10 feet away from your, your zodiac and you're just in this tiny boat where their entire mass would totally dwarf you and flip you over if they'd like to. That's definitely an awe-inspiring thing. It helps you get a lot of appreciation for what wildlife truly is. It is going to be our job to educate and inform Brockport students and other people who might like to register through Brockport how wonderful this opportunity really is. This is an opportunity not only to have a great adventure and to see a part of the world that so few people see, to see a part of the world that is critically important to everybody 
living everywhere around the world. With the changing climate, people are concerned about the impacts on the ecosystem. So there may become a point in the near future, in the next two decades or so, where tourism is going to be severely restricted. So I think if people want to go, they should really take the opportunity to do it now while they still can, because who knows, you, just, you may not have that chance ever again. I think it's really more of a, an experience than a place. Uh, it's like a, another world that you really can't describe, that pictures can't do justice, that really, no matter what descriptions or stories you'll tell, unless you go there yourself, it's something really incommunicable.